Hello, I'm Caroline, and this is Energy Balance Vinyasa. Before we begin, I will cover some important health and safety information that you should know. Before beginning this or any other exercise program, you should consult with a physician to make sure that practicing yoga is appropriate for you. If you have high or low blood pressure, spinal problems, or any other medical conditions or injuries, consult with your doctor to see if any modifications are necessary for your practice. If you are pregnant, you should be in a prenatal yoga class. If during the practice you feel any pain or discomfort, you can return to the previous pose, take a child's pose, or come into supine bent knees. You should avoid this pose until a physician can be consulted to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Be safe and enjoy your practice. Now let's begin. Easy pose, Sukhasana. Come to sitting in a cross-legged seat. Fold your legs in and tuck each foot under the opposite knee. Rest your hands on your knees with the palms facing either down or up towards the sky. Press down through your sit bones, lengthening your spine through to the crown of your head. Inhale. Exhale and draw the shoulders down and back, opening the chest. Engage the core, drawing the navel in towards your spine. And gaze straight ahead or close your eyes. Now take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale into the lower abdomen, feeling it expanding. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. Next, inhale into the upper abdomen, expanding the rib cage. Exhale. Then inhale into the chest, all the way up to the collarbone. Exhale. Now let's combine these three movements into one stepped breath. First, inhale into the lower abdomen, then pause. Inhale into the upper abdomen, pause, then inhale into the chest and hold here. Next, 
Exhale from the chest. Hold. Exhale from the upper abdomen. And hold. Lastly, exhale from the lower abdomen. This is one round of Durga Pranayama or a complete yogic breath. Repeat this process a total of 10 times. Inhale into the lower abdomen. Inhale into the upper abdomen. Inhale into the chest and pause. Then exhale from the chest. Exhale out of the upper abdomen. Exhale from the lower abdomen and pause. As you go, if you wish, you may eliminate the pauses between your inhales and exhales, allowing the breath to travel up and down in one smooth wave. Inhale from the lower abdomen to the upper abdomen to the chest and up to the collarbones. Then exhale your way back down. Now release this pattern while continuing to breathe deeply, inhaling with each expansion of the body and exhaling with each contraction. Now plant your hands on the mat in front of you. Then exhale and roll over the shins, bringing the tops of the shins and the feet to the mat. For table pose, Barmanasana. Walk the knees back so that they are under the hips. And check to make sure that the shoulders are stacked over the wrists. Your calves should be parallel and the neck in line with the spine. Gaze down between your palms. Wide child's pose, Prasarita Balasana. Separate the knees as wide as your mat and bring the big toes to touch. Inhale. Then as you exhale, 
sink your hips down and back while stretching your arms out in front of you with the palms facing down bring your forehead to the mat relax your face head and neck relax your hips and your shoulders let gravity pull your chest down to the mat sinking deeper with each exhale and feel a deep stretch in the shoulders you can gaze down at the mat or close your eyes just rest here for a few moments relax and breathe deeply Then inhale and come back up to table pose. Parmanasana. Exhale and walk the hands back so that they are in line with the shoulders. Adjust the legs so that the knees are under the hips and the calves are parallel. Inhale, then exhale, tuck the toes, engage your core, and press through the hands and feet to lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Let your arms frame your ears. Keep the shoulders down and the chest open. Your feet should be placed about hip width apart. With the legs straight and your heels to the mat if possible. Keep a slight micro bend in the elbows and knees to avoid hyperextension. Gaze between the feet or the ankles. Press down through the heels of the hands. Draw the navel in and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Tripada. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale and step your right foot in towards the center of your mat. Engage your core, drawing your navel in towards your spine. Then inhale and lift your left leg and reach your toes to the sky avoid locking the knees or the elbows keep your neck soft and in line with the spine gaze towards your right foot or ankle keep the lifted leg in line with the hips the shoulders and the arms creating one long line from your heel to your hands Utita Ashwa Sanchalanasana Exhale draw the left knee in towards your nose then set your left foot down in between your hands adjust the right foot 
so that the heel is in line with the right hip for lunge pose. Keep your back foot flexed so that it rests on the ball of the foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel is lifted and points up towards the ceiling. Avoid locking the knee. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Lower your right heel down to the mat and turn your toes out so they are at a 90 degree angle. Inhale and lift your torso upright. Squaring the hips and shoulders forward towards the side of the mat. Extend your arms out to a T. You should have a straight line from fingertip to fingertip. Your arms parallel to the mat. Keep your gaze turned to the left towards your left hand. Then inhale and straighten the front knee. Keep the hip squared forward and the gaze towards the side of your mat. Your torso should be upright. Your arms stretched out to a T. Triangle pose, Tree Konasana. Exhale, then inhale and start to reach forward through the front hand. Exhale and place your hand on your shin, ankle, or the floor. Inhale, raise your right arm straight up. Draw your shoulder blades together and gaze up towards the sky. Then inhale and rise back up, reaching up and back through the raised hand. Square the hips and gaze forward towards the side of your mat. Viparita Virabhadrasana, reverse warrior. Exhale, bend into the left knee and begin to side bend towards the right. Extending your right hand down to your back thigh or shin, avoiding resting the hand on the knee and raise your left arm up overhead and reach towards the opposite side. Inhale, your left arm should be straight with the palm facing down. Make sure the left knee stays in line directly over the ankle. Keep your hips and shoulders squared. Inhale, lengthen through the side body as you reach up and over with the left hand. Gaze straight ahead. Exhale and cartwheel the hands down to the floor on either side of the left foot. Pivot the right foot to face forward towards the front of your mat. Coming up onto the ball of the foot and lifting the heel. Exhale and bend into the left knee, sinking the hips down into a lunge. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle. The hips are squared to the floor and the back heel points straight up towards the ceiling. Avoid locking the knee. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Standing, half forward bend, Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale and step the right foot up next to the left and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your back straight, drawing your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, engage your core. 
Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Then exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips. Or standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Avoid locking the knees. Gaze forward towards your shins. High prayer. Ardva Hastasana. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your core and take a slight bend in the knees. Then inhale and start to rise, sweeping your arms up and overhead as you come up to standing. Your arms should be alongside your ears with your palms together. Square your hips forward and keep a slight micro bend in the knees. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Inhale, exhale, and sweep your arms down by your sides. And then inhale and bring your hands up to rest on your hips. Draw your shoulder blades down and back and draw the elbows slightly back, opening the chest. Gaze straight ahead. Engage your core by drawing your navel in towards the spine. Standing knee to chest. Check to make sure that your feet are close to parallel and about hip width apart. Exhale and shift your weight into the right leg, keeping a soft bend in the knee of the standing leg. Then inhale and raise the left knee up towards your chest. You can bring the left hand to the left knee for added support. Keep the hips squared forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, draw your shoulders down and back. Engage your core. Inhale, and bring the sole of your left foot to rest on the right inner thigh, chin, or ankle, your knee pointing out to the left side, or tree pose, Brikshasana, bring your palms up to touch at heart center, keep your hips squared forward, inhale, lengthen through the spine, exhale, and draw the shoulders down and back. Engage your core. Gaze forward. Inhale and lengthen. Standing up straight. Then exhale and rotate the left knee inward so that it points straight ahead towards the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale, and bring the sole of your left foot back down to the mat, straightening the left knee. Check to make sure that your feet are placed about hip width apart. Gaze straight ahead. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your core and lower your hands down by your sides. Then inhale and sweep your arms up overhead. 
alongside your ears, bringing your palms to touch for high prayer. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Inhale, then exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down, keeping a straight spine as you fold or standing forward bend. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor for standing half forward bend. Exhale. Engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Utita Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Then exhale and step your left leg back into a lunge. Place your hands on either side of the right foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel is lifted and points straight up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale. Exhale and lower your left knee down to the mat. Untuck your toes, bringing your shin and the top of your foot flat against the mat. Check to make sure that the right knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the left hip through to the crown of your head. Half Hanuman, Arda Hanumanasana. Exhale. Inhale and step or slide the right foot forward about six to eight inches until the knee straightens. Keep the heel on the ground and lift the toes off the mat. Flex the toes back towards your face. Avoid locking the knee or the elbows and square the hips. Inhale and lift up halfway. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen the spine and reach the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, gaze down towards the mat. Inhale, then exhale, and bending from the hips, start to fold forward over the front leg, laying your torso across your thigh. You can bend your knee slightly if you need to, to maintain contact with your thigh. Gaze towards your shin or knee and try bringing your forehead to your shin or knee. Keep your neck soft 
and aligned with the spine. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping a flat back. Be sure not to lock your knee or elbows. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine and reach the crown of the head towards the front of your mat. Draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale. Gaze straight ahead, down towards the mat. Inhale. Then exhale. Engage your core. Bend into the right knee and step or slide your right foot back between your hands. Gaze down at the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine to the crown of your head and draw the shoulder blades together. Present lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead and lift your torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Let your arms frame your ears and the palms face each other. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back and open the chest. Inhale, maintain a straight spine and slightly tuck the chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Gaze straight ahead. Exhale. Inhale. Reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down, bringing them back to the mat on either side of the right foot. Inhale and step the right leg back beside the left. The shins and the tops of your feet flat against the mat for table pose, arm and asana. Plank on the knee. Exhale. Inhale. Step the knees back about six to eight inches, keeping the shins and the tops of the feet flat to the mat. Then exhale and shift the shoulders forward so that the knees, hips, and shoulders form one long line. Round down through the knees and the tops of the feet. Spread your fingers and root down through your palms. Avoid locking the elbows. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, press down through the hands. Exhale, keep the core strongly engaged, drawing your navel in towards the spine. Inhale, sink your hips down towards the mat while arching through the back and lifting the chest for upward facing dog. Ardva Mukha Svanasana. Keep your feet, lower legs, and knees to the mat while lifting the chest, abdomen, pelvis, and thighs. Your arms should be straight with the shoulders stacked over the wrists. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back, opening up the chest. Gaze forward, keeping your neck soft and aligned with the spine. Then exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes, and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. 
Let your arms frame your ears. Keep the shoulders down and the chest open. Your feet should be placed about hip width apart. With the legs straight and your heels to the mat if possible. Gaze between the feet or the ankles. Three-legged dog. Tripada, Adho, Mukha, Svanasana. Inhale. Exhale. And step your left foot in towards the center of your mat. Engage your core. Drawing the navel in towards your spine. Then inhale and lift your right leg and reach your toes to the sky. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your neck soft and in line with the spine. Gaze towards your left foot or ankle. Keep the lifted leg in line with the hips, the shoulders, and the arms, creating one long line from your heel to your hands. Exhale, draw the right knee in towards your nose, then set your right foot down in between your hands. Adjust the left foot so that the heel is in line with the left hip for lunge pose. Keep your back foot flexed so that it rests on the ball of the foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel is lifted and points up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Lower your left heel down to the mat and turn your toes out so they are at a 90 degree angle. Inhale and lift your torso upright, squaring the hips and shoulders forward towards the side of the mat. Extend your arms out to a T. You should have a straight line from fingertip to fingertip. Your arms parallel to the mat. Keep your gaze turned to the right, towards your right hand. Then inhale and straighten the front knee. Keep the hips squared forward and the gaze towards the side of your mat. Your torso should be upright, your arms stretched out to a T. Triangle pose, Trikonasana. Exhale, then inhale, and start to reach forward through the front hand. Exhale, and place your hand on your shin, ankle, or the floor. Raise your left arm straight up. Draw your shoulder blades together, and gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, then inhale, and rise back up, reaching up and back through the raised hand. Square the hips and gaze forward towards the side of your mat. Viparita Virabhadrasana, Reverse Warrior. Exhale, bend into the right knee and begin to side bend towards the left. Extend your left hand down to your back thigh or shin, avoiding resting the hand on the knee, and raise your right arm up overhead 
and reach towards the opposite side. Inhale. Your right arm should be straight with the palm facing down. Make sure that the right knee stays in line directly over the ankle. Keep your hips and shoulders squared. Inhale, lengthen through the side body as you reach up and over with the right hand. Gaze straight ahead. Exhale and cartwheel the hands down to the floor on either side of the right foot. Pivot the left foot to face forward towards the front of your mat. Coming up onto the ball of the foot and lifting the heel. Exhale and bend into the right knee, sinking the hips down into a lunge position. Inhale and step the left foot up next to the right and lift up halfway keeping your fingertips to the floor Ardha Uttanasana then exhale and fold forward bending from the hips to Uttanasana inhale exhale Engage your core and take a slight bend in the knees. Then inhale and start to rise. Sweeping your arms up and overhead as you come up to standing. Your arms should be alongside your ears with your palms together for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale and sweep your arms down by your side. Then inhale and bring your hands up to rest on your hips. Gaze straight ahead. Standing knee to chest. Check to make sure that your feet are close to parallel and about hip width apart. Exhale and shift your weight into your left leg, keeping a soft bend in the knee of the standing leg. Then inhale and raise the right knee up towards your chest. You can bring the right hand to the right knee for added support. Keep the hips squared forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, draw your shoulders down and back. Engage your core, keep the gaze forward. Then inhale and bring the sole of your right foot to rest on the left inner thigh, shin, or ankle. Your knee pointing out to the right side for tree pose. Brikshasana. Bring your palms up to touch at heart center. Keep your hips squared forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, draw your shoulders down and back. Engage your core. Inhale and lengthen, standing up straight. Then exhale and rotate the right knee inward so that it points straight ahead towards the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale and bring the sole of the right foot back down to the mat straightening the right knee bring your right hand back to your right hip exhale engage your core and lower your hands down by your sides then inhale and sweep your arms up overhead alongside your ears 
bringing your palms to touch for high prayer. Then exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down, keeping a straight spine as you fold or standing forward bend. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor or standing half forward bend. Then exhale and step your right leg back into a lunge position. Inhale, exhale, and lower your right knee down to the mat. Untuck your toes, bringing your shin and the top of your foot flat against the mat. Inhale, check to make sure that the left knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the right hip through to the crown of the head. Half Hanuman, Arda Hanumanasana, Exhale, inhale, and step or slide the left foot forward about six to eight inches until the knee straightens. Keep the heel on the ground and lift the toes off the mat. Flex the toes back towards your face. Avoid locking the knee or the elbows and square the hips. Inhale and lift up halfway. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen the spine and reach the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, gaze down towards the mat. Inhale, then exhale, and bending from the hips, start to fold forward over the front leg, laying your torso across your thigh. You can bend your knee slightly if you need to, to maintain contact with your thigh. Gaze towards your shin or knee and try bringing your forehead towards your shin or knee. Keep your neck soft and aligned with the spine. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping a flat back. Be sure not to lock your knee or elbows. Exhale, then inhale, lengthen the spine and reach the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale. Gaze straight ahead, down towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Engage your core. Bend into the left knee and step or slide your left foot back between your hands. Gaze down at the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine to the crown of your head and draw your shoulder blades together. Crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up overhead and lift your torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Let your arms frame your ears 
and the palms face each other. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back and open the chest. Inhale, maintain a straight spine and slightly tuck the chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Gaze straight ahead. Exhale. Inhale. Reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down, bringing them back to the mat on either side of the left foot. Inhale and step the left leg back beside the right the shins and the tops of your feet flat against the mat or table pose. Exhale. Inhale and step the knees back about six to eight inches, keeping the shins and the tops of the feet flat to the mat. Then exhale and shift the shoulders forward so that the knees hips and shoulders form one long line or plank on the knee. Inhale, press down through the hands. Exhale, keep the core strongly engaged, drawing your navel in towards the spine. Then inhale and sink your hips down towards the mat while arching through the back and lifting the chest for upward facing dog. Exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Press through the heels of the hands, draw the navel in and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And rise up onto your tiptoes. Then exhale and slowly lower your knees down to the mat. Cross your lower legs and roll over your shins for staff bent knees. Come to sit with your knees bent and the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Keep your feet and knees about hip distance apart. Place your hands by your hips. Press through your sit bones and lengthen your spine. Inhale, exhale, draw your shoulder blades down and back, gaze forward, deer pose, lay your right leg down so that the outside of the lower leg is against the mat and the shin is parallel to the front of your mat. Then bring your left foot towards your left glute so that the inside of your lower leg is against the mat and the shin is parallel to the long edge of your mat. Keep both sit bones rooted to the earth. Place your hands on either side of your hips with the palms down or on TP fingers. Square your hips. Press down through the sit bones, lengthening the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the shoulders down and back. Engage the core. Gaze forward. Inhale. Lengthen up through the spine. Then exhale and start to fold forward over your front leg. Bending from the hips. 
keeping a straight spine as you fold. Lay your torso across your front leg. Let your arms come to rest on the mat. Stretched out in front of you with the palms facing down. And bring your forehead down towards the mat. Avoid locking the elbows. Gaze down at the mat or close your eyes. Inhale, reach your chest forward and lengthen through the lower back. Exhale and fold forward a little deeper. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Then inhale and keeping a straight spine, lift back up to deer pose. Place your hands on either side of your hips with the palms down or on TP fingers. Square your hips. Press down through the sit bones, lengthening the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the shoulders down and back. Engage the core. Gaze forward. Shoelace pose. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your left leg off the mat. Pivot the left knee inward. Then cross your left leg over the right. Bringing the knees towards stacking. Place the left foot on the outside of the right hip and bring the right heel to the outside of your left thigh or hip. You can place your hands on the mat on either side of your hips, or you can wrap your hands around your feet or ankles to help keep your legs in place. Inhale, lengthen the spine, gaze forward, Cow face, go Mukasana. Exhale, inhale, and reach your arms up to the sky. Bend your elbows and bring your right hand to your left elbow. Draw your left arm in and down so that your elbow points up towards the sky. And your left hand rests in between your shoulder blades. Sweep the right arm down and behind your back so that the right elbow points down and your right hand meets your left. You can clasp your hands into a bear grip or if your hands do not meet, you can use a strap to bridge the gap between your hands. Gaze forward and breathe slowly and deeply as you hold the pose. Then release the bind and lower your hands back down to the mat. Uncross your legs and bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor. For staff, bent knees. Inhale, press through your sit bones and lengthen your spine to sit tall. Exhale, draw your shoulder blades down and back. Deer pose. Lay your left leg down so that the outside of the lower leg is against the mat and the shin is parallel to the front of your mat. Then bring your right foot towards your right glute so that the inside of your lower leg 
is against the mat. And the shin is parallel to the long edge of your mat. Keep both sit bones rooted to the earth. Place your hands on either side of your hips. With the palms down or on TP fingers. Square your hips. Press down through the sit bones. Lengthening the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the shoulders down and back. Engage the core. Keep the gaze forward. Inhale. Lengthen up through the spine. Then exhale and start to fold forward over your front leg, bending from the hips, keeping a straight spine as you fold. Lay your torso across your front leg. Let your arms come to rest on the mat, stretched out in front of you with the palms facing down and bring your forehead down towards the mat. Avoid locking the elbows. Gaze down at the mat or close your eyes. Inhale, reach your chest forward and lengthen through the lower back. Exhale and fold forward a little deeper. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Then inhale and keeping a straight spine, lift back up to deer pose. Place your hands on either side of your hips. With the palms down or on TP fingers. Square your hips. Press down through the sit bones, lengthening the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the shoulders down and back. Engage the core. Gaze forward. Shoelace pose. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your right leg up off the mat. Pivot the right knee inward. Then cross your right leg over the left. Bringing the knees towards stacking. Place the right foot on the outside of the left hip and bring the left heel to the outside of your right thigh or hip. You can place your hands on the mat on either side of your hips, or you can wrap your hands around your feet or ankles to help keep your legs in place. Inhale, lengthen the spine, gaze forward, Cow face, Gomukhasana. Exhale. Inhale and reach your arms up to the sky. Bend your elbows and bring your left hand to the right elbow. Draw your right arm in and down so that your elbow points up towards the sky. And your right hand rests in between your shoulder blades. Sweep the left arm down and behind your back so that the left elbow points down and your left hand meets your right. You can clasp your hands into a bear grip or if your hands do not meet, you can use a strap to bridge the gap between your hands. Gaze forward. 
and breathe slowly and deeply as you hold the pose. Then release the bind and lower your hands back down to the mat. Uncross your legs and bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor for staff bent knees. Exhale, walk the hands behind you and lean back. Press down through the hands and draw your shoulder blades together, opening the chest. Start to swing your knees from side to side to neutralize the hips. Exhaling as you drop your knees to the side, then inhaling back to center. Inhale and come back up to center for staff bent knees. Supine bent knees. Then raise your arms up so they are parallel to the floor with your hands by your knees. Or place your hands behind your hips with the fingers pointing towards your glutes. Then exhale and slowly lower yourself down and back into a supine position, lowering one vertebrae at a time. Keep your knees bent and pointing to the sky. Your knees and feet hip distance apart. And rest your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Bound bridge pose. Set to Banda Sarvangasana. Walk your feet back closer to your buttocks so that your knees are stacked over the ankles. Ground down into your feet by pressing them evenly into the mat. Exhale, engage your core and the backs of your thighs. Then inhale and lift your hips up off the mat. Arch your back and draw the shoulder blades together, sliding the arms beneath you. Keep your neck and shoulders flat on the mat. Start to walk the hands towards each other and interlace the fingers. Keep pressing up through the heels to lift your hips higher. Release the bind and walk the arms out from under you, placing them by your sides. Then exhale and slowly lower the hips back down to supine bent knees. Your knees and feet should be hip distance apart. Your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Wind relieving pose. Pavana Muktasana. Inhale. Exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale, relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Supine twist, Jatara 
Parivartanasana. Inhale. Exhale and roll to the left side. Your hips, knees, and feet stacked over each other and your legs in an L shape at about a 90 degree angle. Extend your left arm out to the side with the palm facing up and stack your right arm over your left with the palm facing down. Then inhale and sweep the right arm up and over to the right side, bringing it to rest on the floor with the palm facing up as you twist your chest open towards the sky. Your shoulders should be grounded flat to the mat with your arms open to a T. Gaze over the shoulder towards your right hand. Then inhale and bring everything back to center. Coming back to wind relieving pose. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale, relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Supine twist, other side. Inhale, exhale and roll to the right side. Your hips, knees and feet stacked over each other and your legs in an L shape at about a 90 degree angle. Extend your right arm out to the side with the palm facing up and stack your left arm over your right with the palm facing down. Then inhale and sweep the left arm up and over to the left side, bringing it to rest on the floor with the palm facing up. As you twist your chest, open towards the sky. Your shoulders should be grounded flat to the mat with your arms open to a T. Gaze over the shoulder towards your left hand. Then inhale and bring everything back to center. Coming back to Pavana Mukhasana. And finally, take a deep breath in and then release everything down into Shavasana. Lying on your back with your eyes closed. Let your feet fall open to the sides, slightly more than hip width apart. Let your arms rest by your sides, slightly away from the body, with the palms face up and open. Relax your fingers. Relax your feet. And breathe deeply. Just rest here for a few moments, taking slow, deep breaths. Feel your whole body relaxing, feel it melting into the floor with each exhale.
now begin to lengthen your exhales. Breathing in for a count of four, pausing for a count of one, then breathing out for six counts, and pausing for a count of one at the end of the exhale. Repeat this process 10 times, breathing into the abdomen, feeling the navel rise with each inhale and draw in towards the spine with each exhale. Now release this pattern while continuing to breathe deeply. Just observe the breath without trying to control it. Continue to observe your breath as you inhale, then exhale. Feel the sensations of breathing in your body. Let your attention focus on wherever you feel your breath most noticeably. If you feel your mind 
starting to wonder. Know that this is normal. Just notice that this is happening. Acknowledge the thoughts and let them go. Then bring your awareness back to your breath. Bring your awareness to your body. Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melt into the floor with each exhale. Bring your awareness to your head. Feel it relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor on the next exhale. Let it be heavy. Bring your awareness to your face. Relax your face. Bring your awareness to your jaw. Relax your jaw. Bring your awareness to your neck. Relax your neck. Now bring your awareness to your shoulders. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melt into the floor on the next exhale let all the tension go now bring your awareness to your arms bring your awareness to your left arm the upper arm the lower arm the left hand Feel your whole left arm relaxing. Now bring your awareness to your right arm. Feel the upper arm, the lower arm, the right hand. Feel your whole right arm relaxing. Now feel both of your arms together. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melting into the floor on the next exhale. Let them be heavy. Now bring your awareness to your torso. Focus on the chest. Feel the abdomen, the navel, Bring your awareness to your upper back, the middle back, and the lower back. Feel your whole back relaxing. Feel it melt into the floor on the next exhale. Now bring your awareness to your hips, the glutes and the sit bones feel them relaxing 
feel them melting into the floor on the next exhale let all the tension release now bring your awareness to your legs bring your awareness to your left leg the upper leg the lower leg the left foot feel the whole left leg relaxing now feel the right leg the upper leg the lower leg the right foot feel the whole right leg relaxing now feel both of your legs together feel them relaxing feel them melting into the floor on the next exhale let them be heavy Now bring your awareness back to your body. Fill your whole body together. Fill your whole body relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor with each exhale. Just relax. Just let everything go. bring your awareness back to your breath for a few more moments relax and breathe deeply Then inhale and open your eyes. Open and close your eyes three times slowly. Awaken. This concludes the practice. I wish you peace, contentment, and bliss. Om Shanti, Santosha, Ananda.